first time parent and our only child. <laughs> so we, I think, definitely got an interesting introduction into parenthood. No, before Giovanni's diagnosis, I never knew anything like this existed with babies. Um, this was all brand new to me, and it was all new and scary at the same time. This is the most common birth defect. It affects three million individuals in the United States. 1.4 million children, 1.6 million adult congenital patients. Uh, being told that your child has a congenital heart defect um, and will need multiple surgeries throughout their life um, is really hard for parents. Sometimes they're able to know that before the child is born, but often it's sort of uh, right after delivery when the family's tired and stressed, and then you're telling them this really devastating news. Like, oh my God, I just had a child, but I'm not able to hold him, and I'm not able to um, tell him how much I loved him for the first few minutes he was born, and it was hard, very hard. So PCHA gave a lot of great resources. They um, have their Facebook group, which was something at first that I really clung to. Being able to find others who know what you're going through is invaluable. PCHA provides a knowledge for families in need by arming them with some tools. They will also get some additional um, resources and supports and guided questions to help families understand what it means for congenital heart disease, for your family, and how they can interact with the medical team um, with a very complex medical language. PCHA has helped me with their question guides to ask nurses, doctors, even the surgeons before they go into every surgery and now he's going to go into his Norwood and they have awesome questions to ask. As someone who takes care of kids with congenital heart disease when they're in the hospital and in clinic, it's really fantastic to have a group like the Pediatric and General Heart Association who takes care of them all the time. Not just when they come to the hospital to give gift packages to the families while they're taking care of their own kids in the hospital, but also advocating for them in the political arena um, and helping families go through that um, as having gone through them themselves, uh, really just is um, something that you can't put a price on. You know, the PCHA uh, is by far the most important force lobbying at the legislative level. For example, the Congenital Heart Futures Reauthorization Act. If it wasn't for the National League of PCHA pushing that bill, uh, it likely would not have gotten through the House of Representatives and now, you know, working its way through the Senate. We're patients, families, and parents. That's where we want to stay and have your voice be heard from a national level and a local level and at your hospital, I think is pretty rare. You really can see how they've branched out and been a huge safety net for a lot of parents that either pre or post nearly diagnosed have this overwhelming journey and help you navigate that because without that I'd feel, I think I'd feel lost. And we just want to give parents the understanding like there are people out there that have been through this. There's a lot of great providers and doctors and hospitals. Sometimes you don't know where those people are and those hospitals and providers are. We want to help give that education to those people. I mean, I'm, I'm so thankful. I have no idea what I've, <laughs> what I've could have happened if I didn't have, you know, you guys uh, uh, supporting us. And, and not only me, like you said, my family, my entire family, we all have been part of this. PCHA has helped me with looking at other uh, family stories, like successful stories, with them having like grown kids and being normal kids. Like, it's not like if this could stop them like from doing anything a normal kid would do. And it's given me hope to that you'll be just like my daughter. Over 80% of the money that are raised from PCHA events across the country go directly to our, fun, to our programs like the transparency, the guided questions, the care package programs that we do. All those go directly to those families and patients and parents that need that direct support. Having a network of families and providers and advocates to help support them through this process is just crucially important and that requires resources. And PCHA does an incredible job of allocating those resources to people in need and, and uh, items that need attention. The biggest way people can help is obviously by donating their time. So if you're willing to give your time to this organization, they will help you be an advocate and they will help you make a real impact in the lives of children. Um, 
but donating money, donating in any way that you feel is comfortable and any way that fits for you obviously allows the PCHA to continue their mission and continue to help as many children as possible.